Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do um, just a bonus read, check in your energy, right? Um, I'm testing out a new deck too. It's the uh, Energy Oracle. I'm into the oracles these days, man. Um, but anyway, Cancers, um, yeah, it's a bonus read. Uh, this reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. You're going to know right away, I think, if this is for you or not. And um, thank you, Cancers, for everything. Um, every bit of support and sweetness you guys give me, man. Um, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, your smiley faces, emojis, right? Um, yeah, Bellissima Luna, babe. I mean, you guys, I just love you. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Thank you so much. And you guys, we're pushing the, the messages out further, guys. Um, and anyone who's new here, hi. Hi. Uh, if you like the energy here uh, at the table and with me, go ahead and subscribe, baby. We are going through all of this together. You're never alone here, really. Haven't we gone through this journey together, guys? Oh, I'm so proud of us all. Okay, so cancers, yeah. Um, I'm these when I was shuffling this oracle deck, the cards came out in two clumps. I feel like this is your energy and this is your person's energy, okay? Um, and your energy is fantastic fantastic you're the woman holding the coin you're the woman holding the coin um this is like the uh, queen of pentacles right the most financially stable queen in the deck okay that's kind of how i'm seeing you and i feel like you're you're creating your own thing you could hit, be a business owner so you're doing something creative here following your intuition i'm seeing all this purple too but um, yeah, I feel like um, this is your own endeavor and it's, uh, it's literally opening a, a, a doorway of opportunity for you, door to value. Look at all this money. This is what's coming to you if it hasn't already started. If it hasn't started already, I would be very surprised, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of you are just doing this from home and now your home has become your own temple, okay? Because I feel like what you're doing is something very spiritual. I feel like you guys are on um, the spiritual path. We talk about it all the time, right? Um, guys, you know, uh, um, to help, the, help the newcomers here, okay? Um, get caught up, right? Because we're all on this, this spiritual journey, I feel. And um, yeah, wherever you are, working on whatever it is that you're building it's it's abundant it's bringing in a lot of abundance i feel like you're spiritually spiritually led to do it okay and i feel like wherever you are is a temple because you're getting messages from the divine you're being led and it's really paying off for you you've surrendered to your path here and it's opened the door to value and i feel like there's also a door to romance that's um, that's becoming open. Ooh, after your masculine has some rest time, they're rejuvenating right now. I'm definitely seeing a masculine energy here, resting, rejuvenating, and then they're going to be swept right to you. Look at that energy. Right, and, and it's going to open up another door, a door to romance for you. Okay, so your energy is astounding as the woman holding a coin um, opening your own door to value you know what you're worth right you know you know you know your worth period and it doesn't have anything to do with your pentacles it has to do with your spiritual path okay because you know your worth spiritually because you walk with integrity cancer um it's it's really paying off you're being led okay to do whatever it is you're doing that's that's becoming abundant it's beautiful energy okay for your person i feel like they need to open up their intuition a little bit more 
Uh, and I feel like the angels are working with this person, but they're running out of time here. There's a big karmic storm coming for this person. It's a completion to a cycle. Look, we, we've got two completion cards here. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of betrayal. Whether this is your energy or your person's energy, I feel like it's going to be theirs. I feel like you may have been backstabbed and betrayed, yes. And I feel like because of this betrayal and the silence, the silence, no one doing anything about it, I feel like um, this cycle has come to an end. But I feel like right now you're really focused. You're focused on whatever it is that you're building creatively that's paying off for you and you're focused on being led in whatever direction God wants to lead you okay um, so yeah you're I feel like you guys are doing really well but your person I, I feel like there's a storm coming their way and the divine is trying to warn this person you know this is Archangel Metatron the, the Archangel Metatron kind of oversees the intuition right the third eye chakra um, so this person, I feel like they need to work on that to open it up. And I feel like the, the, they're getting messages from, from Archangel Metatron. They're getting messages from the divine. This is their spirit guides. You know, even though it says patience here, but still, they're, I feel like they're running out of time. There's literally a cyclone about to hit in their life. Yeah, this, this cycle is ending here. This is a completion. So I feel like with the storm warning, everything's going to kind of get demoed. And then it's going to, that levels the field, right? And I feel like um, it's just going to close out a cycle. The cycle is closing, but I feel like your person needs to start seeing things here. They need to start using their intuition because they're headed for a storm. Meanwhile, you're up here just blossoming, um, golden. You've got money just rolling in, it looks like, Cancer. You're doing really well. Very, very financially stable, very grounded, very balanced in your emotions here. And your, your home is a temple. I mean, come on. Page of Swords. Yeah, this person, I feel like, oh, I feel like this person's going to come and talk to you. I feel like they want to reach out here. They want that Two of Cups. It's going to lead to the Ten of Cups. This is what they're thinking. They, they, they want to reach out. I feel like they've been watching you a lot, too. You know, the Page of Swords is my creepy McCreeperson card. They creep around. They do a lot of watching. They've got this sword, but they don't know how to use it yet, right? Um, yeah, I feel like... I feel like this person, they need to open up their third eye and see that they are out of time. The divine is trying to tell them, you know, if you want this two of cups, if you want this soulmate connection, that's going to lead to ultimate, like this is the ultimate wish fulfillment. This is the kind of life that everybody dreams of having, man. It's the ultimate, okay? It's, it's an abundance in love, luck, health, happiness, la 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 everything everybody's happy total comfort everything right and i feel like um i feel like they're trying to say time is up time's up okay this could have something to do with divine timing as well but what i'm seeing is the divine saying time's up man open your third eye and see time's up you're you're headed for this cyclone um, I feel like they need to make a decision. They need to decide to come to you. Instead of watching you, they need to take some kind of action. Because um, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're just watching you. They may be very, very daydreamy about you. And I see you, as like I said, I see you being focused on um, your abundance right now, your home. A lot of you could be moving. You could have just moved into a beautiful new home. Um, yeah, you're just really focused. Yeah, see, storm warning here. Third party situation, look. 
I feel like you were sacrificed here and the divine is really trying to make this person see that they don't have a lot of time to make this right. This is about to be done. I mean, this almost looks like it's I don't like the way this looks. It feels like somebody is dying or has, you know, they're laying on top of a coffin here. And I don't usually see death in the, in the Three of Swords. It's not a good card. Okay, it's not. Um, you know, somebody's health could be deteriorating here too. Someone could need some surgery or something very quickly. There could be like some kind of accident or something that happens here from really extreme weather or something like that. I feel like this is a karmic, kind of like a karmic hit to push someone forward, right? See where, where, where they're headed, okay? They're not, I feel like they're not using their intuition. But the Three of Swords really, it's, it's, it's about heartache, betrayal. Um, this person could be, maybe they're not seeing clearly that there could be a third party situation where they are, that's gonna, that would make them feel extremely betrayed, extremely betrayed. Um, so that could be what they're walking into. They don't see it happening. I, I really feel like the divine is trying to warn this person, man. All right. Clarify this. The... Oh, wait, this is the Four of Swords. Oh, this is the Four of Swords, guys. No wonder. Yeah, still kind of the same feeling. I'm getting the same feeling off of it. There could be somebody who passes on, honestly. There could very well could be someone who passes on possible um, feminine energy, possible air sign. Chariot. I feel like somebody's getting betrayed here. I'm sorry. I feel like this is a third party situation. I really do. I feel like someone's getting betrayed here in a third party. Your person's going to feel very betrayed as well. Um, and they're going to want to move forward during the storm when something's coming up. I feel like, I honestly, I feel like there could be some kind of medical condition or something. I, somebody's going to find something out that there was some kind of betrayal here. Okay? A major betrayal, a selfish act, and I feel like it has to do with a third party. Um, yeah, I feel like it has to do with the third party that's going to completely end this cycle. Somebody's going to feel very betrayed. I'm telling you, this is a, this is some kind of betrayal here. Um, I'm also not ruling out for some of you, I'm not ruling out some kind of car accident, to be honest with you. I'm not ruling it out. Caused by, like, weather conditions. Somebody may be driving too fast. And a lot of rain or something like that. A lot of water. Clarify the chariot. So for some of you, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to get in some kind of accident or something. Um, but for others, I really feel like this is a third-party situation. Your person's going to feel super betrayed because they're finding out maybe there was some cheating involved. A major betrayal. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't walk away. They didn't use their intuition. Um, I feel like they're getting betrayed. They didn't walk away when they should have. I feel like they, because they've been getting the messages, but they needed to open up their third eye. They're not, they, it's almost like the divine kept surrounding this person, but they turned off their intuition. 
It's almost like they didn't even want to see the messages, okay? Um, yeah, they're with an empress, and this is a false empress. They're with an empress in reverse. Um, and this is, you know, the empress in reverse, and I've, I don't have any reversals in my deck, guys, okay? This could be somebody, too, who is just in it for money, or possibly they had a business with this person. Maybe they had access even to... Um, some of their finances but this the empress in reverse is someone who like i see her as somebody who pretends to be in charge you know um tries to be large and in charge but in all actuality she really doesn't contribute to the family unit she really doesn't contribute much okay and this person they've seen the signs i, I feel like they they've known this and they should have walked away a long time ago but didn't and now, you know, the divine was trying to warn them, open your eye, open your eye, man. You're running out of time here, right? And boom. I feel like they get some kind of truth that makes them feel very betrayed. And I honestly, I'm seeing the three of swords here. I'm seeing some kind of third party situation, some kind of truth being told. And for some of you, I'm seeing um, like an accident here. But that's not for all of you, okay? So I don't want anybody getting like all, I don't want all of you freaking out. That's, that's for a few, but I do see something. This is that big storm that's hitting, guys. And you're up here, like I said, you're up here being awesome, right? King of Cups. This person's gonna want and uh, gonna want to come and, and tell you how they feel about you. All of a sudden, I'm getting all tongue tied. Um, I feel like they may even be um, nervous about coming forward. I kind of feel like um, this person may need to take some time and heal from whatever betrayal that they're about to find out about because I feel like they haven't found out yet. I really, I don't, I feel like they haven't found out yet. But it's going to be painful. Really painful. You know? Yeah. They're going to want to make you an offer now. Try to make things right. Tell you how they've been feeling about you. Try to make it right. That's all I'm hearing. I got to try to make it right. I've got to try to make it right. Tell cancer how I feel about them. Yeah. Yeah, because they've been wanting to come to you anyway. This is what they dream about is a life with you. That's what they're dreaming about. While they watch you, you know, while they stalk you, that's what they're dreaming about. I, I feel like they've been wanting to communicate. They just didn't know how to use that sword. So they, they don't really know what to say. But they're, you know, after they get this news or after this happens, whatever it is, I'm seeing kind of two different scenarios here. Um, they're going to come straight to you. Try to make it right because you're their star. Yeah, here comes the communication. Here comes the communication. Now be careful because what did I say? Something about like going to the doctor or going to the hospital, medical, big storm, right? A truth coming out, okay? Third party situations. This wand is on fire. So be very careful, Cancer, because this person could have picked up an STD. Maybe that's why they feel so betrayed, okay? Maybe that's what this big storm has been all about, right? Because that, And then that would for sure make them realize that they stayed with this Empress in reverse for way too long. Just, to, you know, too long. Now they've, they could have gone and picked up an STD. No matter how you look at it, this person, if they don't open up their third eye chakra and start using their intuition, I feel like they're walking right into some trouble here with um, an empress in reverse. This is like a, um, a false empress, okay? 
And you're the, out here being the star. You're the one who's loving, nurturing, pouring healing energy back into the into the world. I feel like, you know, I only see the star as earth angel energy, right? Because you're just so dang awesome, okay? Um, you've got a lot of attention. A lot of people are watching you. You could be in the public eye. You could actually be a star, right? Um they can see clearly the kind of energy that you have versus this empress in the reverse. This is somebody who will try to hype themselves up and make them sound like the best of the best ever, or they can be have a tendency to be very bossy as well, okay? But this is somebody who really is very codependent. And I feel like, they, you know, they may have treated your person kind of a bit like a puppet. Um... They may have had lots of lots of chances to really walk away from this from this karmic individual here, right? Because the Empress in reverse, that's a karmic. Um, and they could have they could have had several chances to walk away from this person, but each time this karmic, it looks to me like they're like laying on thick with the emotions, right? Um, they always seem to talk your person back in, maybe. But that's, it's because they're a karmic. Um, and now I feel like this person's been sabotaged for the last time. I feel like possibly even by a friend, somebody that they know. Okay, somebody that they know and they trusted enough to allow them to betray them this way. So I, I really feel like... Um, this empress in reverse cheated on this person, maybe given them an STD and it, it was with a friend. And now they want to come and talk to you because you're the star. Yeah, you're the star. You've got this beautiful energy and you, I feel like you're doing amazing things. That's not how I would normally um, read the nine of wands, okay? But look at this energy. I feel like you're very powerful. I feel like you're out here doing amazing things. Who else would be able to walk across all of these um, pointy tips here in water and not fall using your energy, okay? So I feel like this person and everyone else is witnessing you do amazing things that cannot be explained. Okay, I feel like you're very powerful. I feel like you're in control and balanced. And I feel like you're extremely confident. Okay, and you're absolutely amazing. You're out here just being the shiznit, you know. And this person wants to talk to you now after finding out about this backstabbing. Yeah, I kind of feel like they've somebody I feel went and got themselves an STD. They're finding out about some kind of cheating, possibly with um, a friend of theirs, you know. One of their friends betrayed them. They're, you know, they're the person that they're with, this empress in reverse, betrays them. And that's that. End of the cycle. That's it. That's the big storm. But they've been urged to get the messages, receive these messages, and listen. Okay? They have been urged to do that. The divine's been with this person, but the, this person has been ignoring. Okay? Yeah, a lot of options here. But what I'm seeing here is that all of this was just an illusion. They were under illusion after an illusion after... I feel like this person may have tried to walk away several times here. And whoever they were with, this Empress in Reverse, just kept pulling them back in, putting them under illusion after illusion, okay? Um, I'm also getting the feeling, too, that, you know, this could be a baby's mama, right? They could have a child with this person. The Empress is a birth giver, okay? Um... In reverse, though, I, you know, I'm not so sure. I just, I see the Empress in reverse as more of an attitude, okay? Not wanting to do things, not wanting to um, put forth much effort, being spoiled, being um, 
not a team player, right? Very codependent, um, maybe flies off the handle. They could have emotional problems, health issues, that kind of thing. Not very responsible, that kind of thing. That's who your person's been dealing with. And here you're out here. <laughs> you're out here do doing literally miraculous things because you're being divinely led. If the divine says do it, you do it, and, he, and it gets done. And I feel like you're amazing people. You're, you're amazing to this person for sure. They really want to talk. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like um, this person's coming towards you. And it's going to open a door to romance. But I really do, like I said, huh? I feel like this person needs to take some time to heal. Rest and rejuvenation. Clearly a masculine energy, but then they're coming directly to you. For that door to romance, I'm telling you. Anyway, Cancer, listen, these were both new decks. Thank you for letting me, you know, try them out. I'm getting to love this deck, even though I'm still trying to get used to it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, I do hope that this helps. And I hope it resonates. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, right? Um, and let's help this channel keep growing, okay? Yes. Thank you, Cancers, for all that you do. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.